What happens to us after we die? Is there an afterlife? And if so, where do we go? Such questions have been pondered for ages. Might there be a paradise? A netherworld? Or do the spirits of the deceased walk among us? My name is Joseph Kappa. I never believed in spirits until I held a seance in my shed and heard a door creak. So I set out on expedition to record what I once heard on tape. With literally no production company to follow us around, I am accompanied only by my fellow investigator, Johnny Cake. And together, the two of us will travel to local bed and breakfasts well, we will try to communicate with spirits of the other world. How did you end up in this prison? Slit my throat! Southern style, let's do it! Let's go! I'm open here! You wanted us! You got us! These are our spirit expeditions! Oh, look! There they come. Welcome to the historic Oak Creek Cabin. I am Joseph Kappa, and this is my lead investigator. I'm Johnny Cake. Johnny Cake. Cynthia. Cynthia. Ginger. Ginger. Cake. Yeah. Johnny. It's Johnny, right there. So what's the story? Well, the place first started out as a civil war ground, and then built on top of it was an insane asylum, and that was shut down from violence Use. And then it was made into an orphanage, and that was shut down because of mass murders and terrorist attacks all the time. And so then after that, it was made into a prison, and there were beatings and whoopings in a shack, and they would throw them in with just a loaf of bread and a jug of water, and they would keep them there for 30 days. So then they shut that down, and me and my friend here, we uh, built a bed and breakfast on top of this. There's one ghost in particular that we have everyone uh, has named, Eduardo. We believe that he has been here throughout the asylum, the orphanage, and the prison. We have heard very strange happenings with Eduardo. People have said that they've woken up with scratches on their neck, bruises on their wrist, in particular, there's one very peculiar story about a tingling in the right nostril. There was a Confederate war right on this very field. Wow. It was just a bloody war. Right over here, Bobby and the soldier died. Wait, wait. So you're telling me we're standing directly on Bobby's deathbed? Yeah, we are. Folks. I am standing on the exact land that a man was shot and killed. Bobby the soldier was obviously an important part of history and I hope I can contact him tonight and explain this paranormal phenomena to audiences around the world. jail cell, and a small space for orphans. So you're telling me this was a small space for orphans? This is Joseph from Spirit Expeditions. We're going to be locked down here tonight. If you want to be heard, now is the time in five hours, all right? Don't keep us waiting. The shack. Wow. Victoria shack. Wow. It's awesome thick. Yes. This place actually has a lot of history. Um, this is where the prisoners would go if they were worse than usual. 
in here they would get beaten and whooped. And they would spend about 30 days in here and would only get a loaf of bread and a jug of water. That's nothing, man. That's nothing. Mm -hmm. I eat two loaves of bread a day. here in Strawberry, Arizona. We just started a new recording on the digital voice recorder, hoping to find some EVPs. What we're going to do is we're going to do a baseline overview of the house. We're going to see what baseline activity is. We're going to revisit some of our, our stories. Let's go. Right in this exact spot at this local lodge, prisoners were tortured and beaten. They were kept prisoners and all they were given was a loaf of bread and a jug of water. They were forced to survive 30 days with nothing but themselves. And a loaf of bread and a jug of water. Tonight, we will try to contact the spirits from the other side. Hello, any spirits? Joseph Catla. This John, is... Johnny Cake. Johnny Cake. We're here to just ask you a few questions. Don't worry. Don't be scared. We're just here to investigate. Give the lodge owners some answers, okay? Now, Tommy, is there anybody here with us tonight? We understand that you were thrown in here and held captive. You only had a few different things given to you. Do you know what those were? What is your name? Are you a child? What did you eat? What did you drink? How did you end up in this prison? Now tell me, was this bread wheat or rye? What followed was the first EVP of the night. It was white. Oh! It was white. Oh! God. We asked about the bread, and we got an answer about the bread. It was white. Oh! God. Oh crap! Let's start asking questions. Is anybody here with us? Is anyone here? Eduardo! Eduardo! You hear that? No! Are there any orphans in this room? How do you feel being locked up in this room all day? You have a message that you want to share with us. Legend has it this room once housed an orphan named Marjorie, who time and time again was rejected by adoptive parents. When the building was converted to a prison, she was shanked and killed. Could this cry for help be from Marjorie? Dark, cold, and dude! Oh my god! The refrigerator just opened! Dude! Who's in here? Are you hungry? This place is haunted. A plus plus rating, people. Extra haunted. This is crazy town. Holy s! You gotta be s! Are you kidding me? The cup moved. It's at the end of the coffee table. Folks, this is the rarest occasion of all. Spirit expeditions. The rarest thing we have ever seen on the show. Physical relocation 
of short glasses! Here we are. We're going into the room where they kept the criminally insane. Heavy duty. Heavy duty stuff. This isn't for amateur folks. This is for professionals. Dude. Dude. It's coming here. Let's go. Who's with us? Were you on lithium? At this exact moment, we record one of our clearest EVPs yet. Penicillin. Dude. Dude. Penicillin. Dude, dude. Could this voice be recounting his time at the insane asylum? Or perhaps a ghost with a viral infection? Penicillin! Dude! Dude! Dude, there's water! There's water! Dude! Who's there? Is anybody with us? Dude! Wait! It's the radio. Someone turned on the boombox. Wait, it's that. Or a helper of ours just locked us in. We got only our. Infrared flashlight, a voice recorder, and our spirit box. Is there anybody in here with us? It was a blender. Was that the blender again? Dude, it was the blender. To, what are they trying to tell us? How do you feel when you were inside the prison? Did you enjoy crushed ice? What came next is incredibly rare. Two intelligent responses. This is Eduardo! It is Eduardo. Did you knock down all of the seating chairs? Is it because you starved in the shack? You don't want to have dinner? You want some brain water? We got it! We got it, bud! Dude. It's Eduardo's cup. Are you kidding me? He moved it. He placed it there. Eduardo's. He's playful. He's cheerful. He's a little prankster. Why are you Eduardo? He likes the pranks. Show us! Dude, dude! What? What is it? My nostril! Oh my god! His nostril! I have a family! He has a family, Eduardo! You want to do this to him? Racist was killed 
and we're gonna go out, and we're gonna go to his great site. And then see what happens. Let's go. Right here. It's the exact spot where this racist man died. Bro. What? You hear that? Footsteps. Footsteps. Everybody knows that the racists have the biggest feet. Bobby, are you here? This is his spot. Bro! Literally just saw a shadow run behind the tree. Literally. Literally. Are you kidding me? No. Bro. Well, you know what this means then? Dude! We found out that there were ghosts. We 